Hey guys, Wadok Studios here, and we are about to go over the new 2D Skeletal Systems tool plugin. So make sure it's enabled. Um, you will see, actually, I need to go back there. Uh, the plugin actually um, will have a couple of dependencies Paper 2D, Procedural Mesh Component, and the Skeletal, skeletal Mesh Modeling Tools. So those are Epic provided modules um so this plugin expands upon those um to basically uh enhance the workflow that you're already familiar with with the blueprint skeletal 2d system 2d skeletal system um so this plugin does include everything from that blueprint asset pack um so I guess we can jump right into it since I kind of go over the workflow and the character creation process uh, for the blueprint provided framework. So um, some of the Patreon, Discord members, people that have reached out uh, on Discord for support um, have mentioned, you know, this could go a little quicker if we had better tooling around getting from sprites into the editor um, our, you know, sprite sheets into the editor. Currently we're building meshes out, uh, with these planes and we're applying materials to them. And then, um, we're using the skeletal system to apply the characters that we build, um, to the rig with the control rig. And then, you know, we're animating, uh, using linked animations from these sequences. Um, so uh, the plugin is going to help this workflow. Um, so I have a few textures here. Um, these aren't provided. I just pulled them in as an example. So uh, first thing you're going to want to do, and I'll just start from scratch uh, so we can go through this whole process together. Um, yeah, first thing you're going to want to do, I think we can delete this, is find a sheet, a sprite sheet like this. Um, and the tool will allow you to right click and you can apply paper 2D settings first and foremost. Um, so this is going to give you the uh, paper 2D settings that you're going to need for working within the editor. The next step is going to be extracting the sprites. Um, and then from here, um, instead of having to go through each one, creating a plane, creating a material, etc., etc., the plugin now allows you to just bulk select all the sprites that were created. You can right click and then you can convert these into a static mesh. Now, before we do that, I want to show you another thing that you can do that'll help speed up workflow and also cut back on editor time. Um, we're gonna go open these sprite sheets up and over here on the right where you see this render geometry, um, we're going to select that. And then over here, we're gonna select sh shrink wrapped and then we're gonna save. So I'm gonna do like the head, um, you'll need to double click. We'll do the body. Uh, we'll do a leg, another leg, and the tail. All right. So now that we have leg, body, tail from the head all the way on, we can convert these. You can usually just keep the defaults here and you do want to share the material. In some cases, you might want to create extra materials, for, but for our case, we want to share the material across all the meshes. So we'll hit OK. And then now you'll see that if I was to drag this mesh out, not only did it do this process for you, but it also um, cut this card out to be the shape of the face or the thing that you're working with. Um, you can also go into polygroup edit and like edit the amount of faces in each one of these polys, but you'll notice it's going to add some extra geometry that's useful for whenever we rig this thing up to the 2D skeletal tool as well. Um, but we'll go back to this 
for the time being. Now, another thing is I want to go over is that you can just create a sprite out of this texture. And then from here, we can actually um, do the same thing that we just did, but do it for the entire thing. So you can shrink wrap this whole um, card. And then we'll need to adjust this a, a tad. So we'll go alpha threshold and bump this up. There we go. And this way, if you prefer, um, you can just convert this guy directly into a skeletal mesh and you can skip a few steps and start rigging this out with the bone editor. Um, starting here, you would just jump up to the body. So we would go to edit skeleton, you would hit add and you would do the same process that you're used to doing where you would, you know, create the body and then you would go through each one of the limbs. So you would come from the body back down to the rotation point on the leg and name it leg, et cetera, et cetera. Um, this workflow is a little different than the workflow that we've previously gone through, but if people like this and then you wanna reposition these mesh cards in the polygroup settings, you can do that. So we can go into polygroups and then you can literally select these vertices and reposition them um, once you get them weighted onto the bones. And you can go ahead and animate the entire skeletal mesh sprite sheet this way. Um, I prefer this method with the static meshes. Um, so we'll go ahead and get continue down this path. And the reason I prefer this too is because it keeps each one of my um, materials intact that I want to use with my character as, and you'll see that here in a second. So we'll just keep building this guy out. So I think this is the back leg. And as you can see this drastically, <laughs> this process, I mean, it wasn't lengthy, but it really did speed this up a lot. Um, getting from, from point A to point B as quickly as possible. Um, that's the name of the game, right? Let's get this back just a tad. know if I want that in front or behind. I think that's okay. Um, yeah, so once you get this guy, as I went over in previous videos, you want the root bone to be at the bottom. So before you convert, you want it to be there. Up here, you're gonna see actor, you're gonna see convert to static mesh. You'll put this in a static mesh folder. Um, I'm gonna name this SM Dragon. Save. So now if we go take a look, you'll see. Now we have material instances that we can swap out for each body part so we can make, this just makes editing this guy a little bit easier. Then from here, we'll convert this into a skeletal mesh. So now we have this skeletal mesh to work with and the process is essentially the same. Um, you, your root's gonna be down here and you'll do the same thing except for now everything's already in the position that you need it to be in so you would come up make your body name this and then from this point um you would just come from the body selected down to the pivots of each thing that you wanted this is technically leg l um go back up to the body come down to the pivot technically leg r um, let's give that a better name. I'm gonna, looks like it doesn't want a name with a capital. So I'm gonna do that again. There we go. And then back up to the body and we'll go to the head. Back up to the body and then we'll go to the tail. And I think it's going to be about right there. And like we've covered in previous videos, um, at this point you would go into your polygroups and then you would um, wait 
each one of these to your bones and then you would apply the provided control rig copy that over to it and then you're off to the races with the animation instancing um animation instancing uh you're off to the races with the um uh character tool sequences that can create your linked animations as i've went over in previous videos um so hopefully that gets you guys up and running really quickly and simplifies this and um you know continue to make you know uh suggestions on a discord channel and uh on patreon on youtube on the youtube channel um it's you guys that really do kind of drive me to continue to you know make this process faster and easier um so until next time happy developing toodles